What do you do if you have more pigeons than pigeonholes? Well, honestly, at least one pigeonhole will need to have more than one pigeon. Case closed, right? Nothing more to discuss here? What if I told you this little idea had great power? You'd probably look at me funny. Well, that's because you wrongfully pigeonholed the idea. Let's say you have two or more people at a party. I'll bet you that at least two of them have the same number of friends at the party. Actually, let's make the people pigeons, and they're at a pigeon party. So if one of the pigeons has zero friends, then we can ignore them because they have no friends. In that case, we pretend we are at a party that does not include them, because that is what all the other pigeons are doing. But if any of the remaining pigeons also have zero friends, then they both will have the same number of friends because they both have no friends. So let's pretend all the pigeons at the party know at least one other pigeon, and there are n pigeons. Say there is a super popular pigeon, and it likes to have lots of friends, but no matter how hard it tries, it can only know one less pigeon than there are at the party, because one of them is itself. So all the pigeons have between one and one less than n friends, but they are n pigeons. If you assigned a unique number of friends to each pigeon, you would be doing well until you reach the last pigeon. It can't have any more friends, and the zero spot is already has the lonely pigeon in it. So it must have the same number of friends as one of the other pigeons. Let's try another one. Say you have six whole numbers. I can guarantee you that the difference between at least one of the pair of the numbers is divisible by five. Don't believe me? The first thing you need to understand is that all numbers divided by five will have a remainder that is either zero, one, two, three, or four. Any higher, and you could put another five into the number. So you have five spots to put the numbers in, and six numbers. So some of those numbers will have to be roommates. If two numbers have the same remainder, then the remainder will be eliminated when they are subtracted. So the difference will have a remainder of zero, and by definition, divisible by five. Okay, one more. If you have five pigeons with six holes, it means at least one was shot twice.